Why do liquids behave so strangely? 600 cubic meters at the entrance of a tank does not mean at the exit of a tank. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. But the liquids do behave strangely because the, uh, the way you see, like, what... The way we visualize uh, the piping is like you're always seeing like sort of the the stabilized version of it. So if, like if something is flowing through a pipe, you're not seeing that apart from the uh, the indicators. So if you if you're looking on a in a tank that's like a buffer or whatever, you won't really see what's going on because you can only see when it fills up when it does. Whereas on pipes, you can see that the indicators on them, um, and you and the the in, when you look at a pipe, the, the the thing that you see is the indication of the entire pipe. So it won't show you like what happens at the end of the pipe because it can show off like as it's getting full, but like maybe it stops at the end and doesn't get up. And then it can also slosh back and forth, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, I, th I, I personally think that the visualization of the pipes is something that we need to look into at some point and make it clearer because I don't think it's clear enough. Um... Yeah, there's also back the thing that there's also back pressure, there's fluid dynamics, like it it's tricky. Uh 